Hi, I'm Tom Brennan with Artemis Vision. Uh, first, we're going to show just a quick video on uh, Vision Wrangler, which is a product we've developed for a few uh, larger customers that have really needed a way to track their vision inspections. So they have a lot of different vision systems, and then when problems occur, they don't have a way to quickly pull information from those systems to actually diagnose a problem. As Dave was talking about yesterday, sometimes you have under two hours to actually figure out why something's wrong. So that's what this product helps you do. So the video here is about two minutes. In manufacturing, keeping track of products is a complicated process. How do you make sure standards are being met? What if something goes wrong? Artemis Vision Vision Wrangler is a complete machine vision solution that provides custom inspection, track and trace, and archiving of critical high volume production data in your manufacturing process. Artemis Vision systems are reliable and field tested. Vision Wrangler captures and stores not only production data, but images of your products for real-time and downstream analysis and archive. Vision Wrangler sends out messaging alerts for user-definable events, generates and sends out reports on performance and compliance issues, integrates seamlessly with quality control packages and enterprise databases, and is part of your end-to-end -end compliance solution. Fortune 100 facilities trust Artemis. Vision Wrangler uses industry-leading machine vision hardware and is built on industry standard software development practices and platforms, and provides key data for track and trace compliance, quality assurance, and process transparency, leading to lower costs and peace of mind. Knowing you are covered in case something goes wrong, Vision Wrangler gives you brand insurance by maintaining visibility, accountability, and credibility with your customers and trading partners. Okay, so we'll step through a quick PowerPoint here about the product, and then we'll show a live demo of two examples. But first, a little bit about us. So we were founded in 2010. Uh, we have a worldwide customer base, but primarily US and Canada. And we build high-performance vision systems and software tools. And Vision Wrangler is one of those software tools that we initially built for a uh, pharmaceutical company and have then found that other companies uh, need the same solution. We also have a vision lab and a full uh, machine shop, so we build everything in-house. And offices in Denver, Dallas, Charlotte, and uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. We're AIA certified, and we offer end-to-end -end turnkey solutions. So the problem with a lot of vision systems today, as uh, Dave Butler talked about yesterday, is you've got all kinds of different systems, and yet you have to diagnose problems quickly and maintain compliance with a lot of different standards. So you have these systems that are verifying, inspecting, and dimensioning uh, parts, and then you have these complaints that come back from the field or from customers. And it's very difficult to link the two together, right? You have somebody who says that there's some issue, and you have the last eight hours of production, and it can be difficult to figure out, well, you know, which part are they looking at? What did that actually measure on the vision system? And diagnose when exactly the problem occurred, how it occurred and get to the root cause. 
And prior to Vision Wrangler, there's no turnkey solution that we're aware of uh, to pull the actual image data uh, from the vision system by the serial number. And therefore, it's very time consuming to look into complaints. If somebody tells you that you know, a certain thing occurred, right, you're going to have to spend the next few hours you know, going through calibration logs, looking at different systems, trying to pull images off of this vision system so you're taking a thumb drive out on the, on, onto the production floor, plugging it into some PC, pulling a bunch of images, bringing them back to a laptop, looking at them. It takes a lot of time. And a lot of this time is sometimes to investigate things that aren't actually issues or that you know, if you could just pull that data quickly, you could say, well, that windshield got scratched after it left our facility. It, it wasn't scratched at our facility. And because of this, we end up ignoring a lot of real problems because we're spending a lot of time looking into things that might not be directly our fault, but we can't prove it. And if we can't prove it, well, we basically have to look into it until we can prove it. And that results in a lot of chargebacks, rework, scrap. You've got to hold excess inventory because you're not really able to diagnose a problem quickly. Uh, all the typical problems of manufacturing. So Vision Wrangler helps you track these vision results. And it's a turnkey solution. It comes complete with all the hardware and software you need. And basically, it provides a way to track your quality with images. And the important thing about being with images is that you can reprocess them right, with different tolerances or reprocess them with different algorithms to actually get to the root cause of something or figure out how to slightly change a tolerance such that a part will be acceptable. And it's also easy to share that data with third parties. So it has a web interface. So to the point of building trust that was brought up yesterday, you can offer a customer the ability to log in and actually see the inspection results as they're generated so that then not only do they you know, know that you're doing um, quality assurance, they can actually see those results. Now, it works with anybody's hardware. Uh, you can obviously purchase a vision system from us. We build turnkey vision systems. Or you can use any hardware vendor's uh, vision system, right, and essentially link it back. The core product is a server that runs a database that can store production images. So what happens is each serialized part is stored in the database with the actual serial number, the actual image, the actual inspection result, right, and all the different locations that were inspected. And then through the web browser interface, right, you can search through any records you want, right, and prove anything you need to to a customer. You can also get configurable alerts, right, to let you know immediately when something's happening so that you don't find out in the morning that you know, something was changed and now we have to scrap all these parts or that you know, some change was made and now you know, we're going to find out later, maybe a week later, that you know, we've produced a lot of parts differently. And this is actually an alert from the software. This is a pharmaceutical uh, application of it. Uh, it's for mail order pharmacies. And basically, when you know about a problem immediately, you can address it immediately, which helps eliminate scrap, downtime, and it's always worse to address the problem later, right, when management is now quite ticked off that, you know, a certain number of parts left the facility or, you know, more parts were made 
with bad settings. So I'm going to walk through how a few selected customers uh, use this technology today. So one is a US automaker. One is a Fortune 10 company that uh, ships pharmaceuticals. Uh, they do a lot of mail order drugs. And then a Dow component uh, that uses it to verify a third party manufacturing process. So the automaker uses uh, Vision Wrangler to track component inspections. And it's actually a lot of dimensions in the frame. Uh, so they do a lot of dimensioning of components for the frame, right? And then when that part arrives for actual final assembly, right, they're able to track that frame, right, and each part of it back to original inspections so that if anything doesn't fit together, right, they can instantly pull up all the inspections that were done on each uh, bolt hole, right, and every critical dimension of that frame. So now, when we have an assembly issue, right, it can be tied to facts, actual vision inspections, rather than accusations. And then they can also adjust the parameters to figure out if there is an issue, what other parts are impacted, right? Uh, or, you know, is it, does a certain tolerance need to be tightened? And we can weigh these tolerance changes against their impacts. So if I am gonna tighten that tolerance, does that affect 1% of parts, 10% of parts, 50% of parts? So the pharmaceutical customer uh, uses Vision Wrangler to track the labeling uh, of these mail order drugs. And basically, they wanna know what they shipped and to whom. Because otherwise patients call in and say that, you know, you only ship me two bottles, not three. Or you ship me expired product. Or whatever it might be. Uh, a lot of uh, mail order pharmacy, you'll get these false complaints. And essentially, because you can't prove otherwise, you end up shipping out more drugs. So having a process that takes images of everything and makes it easily trackable so that just for a, a random customer service phone call, I can pull up images, right? And I can prove to the customer that, no, this is exactly what we shipped you and those lot numbers match the lot numbers that you have, right? The next month, they don't call to complain because it's a false complaint and they know it and they know that they're just trying to get uh, additional product. It also reduces liability because now everything's traceable. So the Dow component makes a product that goes in centrifuges uh, for medical analysis. And they use Vision Wrangler so that they can have a third party manufacture the product, but they're able to control all the inspections, right? So every inspection is done through the system, right? And they can log in and view those inspections anytime, right? The tolerances are all set by them. So they have greatly reduced brand risk because they know that the final step of the process is essentially it's gonna go through their QC system with their standards, right? That they can log into at any time rather than sort of a trust us but you can't verify it and then you end up having to fly out to that third party to make sure that they're actually doing the job they said they would. So it helps build trust between them so that there's fewer conference calls where you know, this company's accusing their third party manufacturer of having improperly made the product. And because they can verify this production, as uh, Dave <coughs> talked about yesterday, there's more trust. So this system helps them have the trust needed to manage a global supply chain. So a quick demo here for pharmaceuticals. So 
the system actually pulls up, right? Looks like this. And we can put in whatever we want into the search field to look up any given um, lot or expiration. Pull results right up. We can see each event, right? Cap verify, label verify, lot expiration verify, right? Lot product verify. We can see where it happened. We can see when it happened. And we can look at the actual images. So if somebody calls in and says that, oh, you shipped me something and whatever, might, whatever they might claim, right? I can ask them for a serial number, plug it into the software, hit enter, pull up everything, right? And obviously, we would never ship something like this. This is made up data. But here, we have a cap that's off, or whatever the problem might be. I mislabeled the product. I failed to perform a certain check. A certain tolerance needs to be adjusted. Or you know, somehow the label uh, has a, a smudge on it, or whatever it might be. This also applies for other manufacturing. Right? And this is a different configuration of it. Uh, but essentially, I can see each inspection, right, each serial number, and I can click into a given serial. And I can see the inspections that were applied, right? And which ones passed, and which ones might have failed. I can also set up my alerts, depending on what I want to be alerted by. And I can view my stats. So I can see if there's been an increase in defects, right? And I can look into exactly what is causing that. I can look into each of the individual inspections. Um, and I can diagnose problems. And it's much easier than you know, taking a thumb drive out on the production floor to your vision system to grab images, take them back to your laptop, and try to figure it out that way. And it's also something that you can much more easily share with your customers, where you can give them a login to a portal to basically check the quality themselves so that there's trust between the trading partners. So for more information, please don't hesitate to stop by our booth or get in touch after the conference. Any questions? It seems like there's a lot of data here. In other words, we've got photographs and we've got, how do we store all this data? How, how do you manage that? Um, I'm just curious. Do, uh, do you provide that also? And what magnitudes are we talking about? Like the, the pharmaceutical companies are constantly making products, right? It goes on 24 seven. Where do they store all this stuff? Uh, they have about 100 terabytes of storage uh, for it all. The uh, automaker, it's significantly less. Uh, both of them manage it on their own computers. Uh, the uh, Dow component example, uh, it's a server we provided. Uh, so I guess that varies by IT policy. Uh, hard drives are cheap relative to these problems, uh, so uh, in terms of justifying the storage budget, the uh, pharmaceutical one is the most storage, uh, but that wasn't really a problem. Any further questions? Oh, Marie in the back. Wait, wait, wait for your mic. Thank you. Um, 
is your vision system barcode dependent? Yeah, you do need a serial number of some sort by a data matrix or barcode on the product. Because uh, otherwise, it, you, it, it would be difficult to type in the, uh, that serial number and have the vision system actually know what part you're referring to. Uh, you can do it via OCR as well, but essentially the vision system has to read a uh, serial number on the part as it passes beneath the system. Is there a follow-up question to that? or? <laughs> well, you also showed a part inspection. That yeah. part was, had a barcode? Uh, it had a direct part mark. Okay. Like uh, basically a laser etched data matrix. So, so you do need to have serialized uh, production. Um, I may have missed it in the presentation, but uh, I know you deal with the pharmaceutical industry, so I'd imagine mm -hmm. you get questions such as, do you provide software validation packages because that's going to be required by FDA, obviously, if it's you know ever used. If it's ever, um, we so we offer um, basically a lot of that stuff that you you saw there is regulated by state boards of pharmacy, so it'll be approved for shipment into a certain state because uh, they're dealing with already packaged uh, or already already manufactured drugs. So they can basically fill pill bottles, right, and label them for patients, or they can label uh, already packaged uh, drugs. So they actually fall under state board of pharmacy regulations for that. Uh, they're, the people who are upstream of them definitely have to deal with the FDA, but uh, the mail order distribution networks uh, do not, and the State Board of Pharmacy regulations is actually vary quite a bit uh, state to state in terms of what they require and what they allow. I got a question. What's the, uh, the upper speed limit, the number of items it can look at and track per minute? Um, the biggest installation of it would be that mail order pharmacy uh, application where they've got essentially seven machines that each do 1,200 an hour. So that's approaching 10,000 an hour uh, images coming back to the database for storage. Uh, we could obviously, if there were an application where we needed more, right, stretch the hardware uh, or have two servers. Uh, but that's sort of the, the upper limit that we've actually proven. Tom, Tom I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I saw you had you able to do dimensional inspections with the vision mm -hmm. system. How about more complex geometric dimensioning tolerancing? Can you do positioning and some of the other um, more complicated inspections? Uh, so that actually depends much. We can design the actual vision cell to do that, the actual vision system in terms of the mounting of the camera any potential lasers, right, or lighting. Um, or we can hook into, if there's a vision system already doing that for you, right, just archiving the images for you. Um, so uh, in terms of what we're offering, it's more of a, a package that sits behind the multiple vision systems you might have. Uh, and those can be as complex as anybody can build, right? I mean, us or some other provider. Any further questions? Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. Um, please stop by and talk, see Tom in his booth.